Hey, this is Rich from Lower West Side Studio. It's a lovely sunny afternoon and I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about Barton's BMC-018 analog drum module. You see here on uh, my system, I've got two of them. These, um, these boards were actually built in MU format rather than the Euro rack format. Um, with a simple resistor change, they'll support plus or minus 15 volts instead of the Euros plus or minus 12. Um, so let's, uh, let's go see what they can do. Uh, to start, what I've done is I've got a, a synthesizers.com Q960 uh, sequential controller, and I've taken two of the gate outputs and run them into this Q961 interface. And we're going to take the gate output from the interface and run it into the input of this guy here. And we'll take his output and run into a an Oakley multi-mix, because I'm going to mix a couple of modules up here. And then from the multi-mix, we're going into a, an Oakley uh, classic VCA. We are not using control voltages in the VCA. We're just running straight uh, with the modules output. And uh, without further ado, here we go. So we're getting ourselves a little bit of a bass drum sound here. We can experiment a little, change the decay. The amplitude decay, you've got two decays here. The FM decay. So you can basically generate any kind of sound that, that suits your fancy. If you want the high sounding bass drum or, or click track or whatever you want to do with it, you can also use that. So we're going to go for a sort of bassy bass drum sound right now. There's nothing going in the control voltage. We're going to get to that in a sec. But for now, what we're going to do is take another output from the sequential controller Take one of the gate outputs. We're going to run into the second analog drum and run that guy into the mixer. that sound till we get something that sort of grooves us as a backbeat. Okay, so now that we've got some bit of a beat going, what we're going to do is we're going to start playing around a little bit with the control voltage. I'm going to go into an Oakley dual LFO, take the triangle wave out, go into the control voltage of our second drum. This is a rather fast uh, pulsing wave. We've got it set at uh, 7 out of 10 on fast setting. I'm going to switch it to slow setting here. Depending on where we are on the wave, controls our pitch. So you can produce some kind of funky sounds there. Now what we're going to do is play around with a little bit of uh, effect that we can do with these modules. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the output from the first module and I'm going to run it into uh, synthesizers.com Q115 reverb. Take the output from that guy, run him back into the mixer. As you 
here, you can get some pretty spooky kind of effects out of there. Now what we're, we're going to do here is we're going to take the output of this beat module, let's call it I guess, and run this into a Q107 state variable filter. Put that into the signal input and take the output from that guy. Run him back into the mixer. We'll take the low pass output. Pass. All right, so you can see that uh, uh, the module by itself is kind of really quick and dirty and easy to use, but with the uh, add-on features of some of your other modules that may be in your in your system, you can get some really unique sounds out of the uh, out of these two modules. Now, a couple more things we're going to do. One is I'm going to take the output of the uh, our, our base bass drum output and run it into uh, a Buchla slash DJ Thomas White uh, triple low pass gate. And this is a module from SynthCube. And we'll take the audio out of that, go back into our, our reverb. And we're gonna alter the frequency a bit. This, this low pass gate that we're listening to has two fast vac rolls. When I built this module, I built one with a fast and a slow, one with two slows and one with two fasts. And this is the fast and the slow. Also, is you can use uh, a synthesized drum uh, trigger, excuse me, to trigger your uh, your your uh, uh, analog drum module. And what we're going to do here is I've got a DAO's uh, DAO's analog uh, drum module, and uh, I've patched it into a Q124 multiple. And one of the outputs of the multiple is going into a Q109 uh, envelope generator. And I'm going to take the other one, another output from the multiple, and replace the gate output from the sequencer with the output from the multiple. Now, basically when we strike the, we, when we strike the DAOs, we can get ourselves some pretty cool effect. Now what I'm going to do also is take my envelope generator output, plug that into the control voltage here, and we can sort of play around with the envelope And uh, sort of alter the sound that we're getting from that from that uh, uh, analog drum. So the analog drum module is available from modularaddict.com. It is a very easy build, 
great for a beginning uh, first time uh, uh, DIY modular pro project and uh, very versatile, very flexible, uh, lots of fun to use. And uh, hope you found this video helpful.